artist we've been talking about Yoyoi Kusama and her love for pumpkins and I thought it would be fun this time of the year is that we see a lot of pumpkins around and I just thought it'd be fun for us to create our own Yoyoi inspired pumpkin for this project you will need crayons and watercolors if you have them and a little bit of a thicker paper so that it will handle the watercolors please get all these things ready and we'll get started Yuyoi Kasama has used pumpkins as a subject matter for many of her pieces of art. This is the piece that we will use today for our inspiration. We will begin by drawing our pumpkin. You will need to choose a crayon color that you would like to start your pumpkin with. While following these steps to draw your pumpkin, please keep in mind that Kusama's pumpkins were always fun shapes. They did not look exactly like a real pumpkin would. So take your time, start with this funny peanut shape, and then add shapes on each side. When drawing the stem, start at the pumpkin and go up, then go to the other side and do the same. Connect the two with an oval so that it appears that the pumpkin is three-dimensional we start at the stem and come out for the next two shapes and then do the same again don't forget to go in and close up the back of the pumpkin Kusama didn't just add polka dots but she also created patterns with her polka dots please make sure to create a pattern with your polka dots when you decorate your pumpkin Use a variety of small and large polka dots. Once you have your patterns created on your pumpkin, make sure that the dots are colored in and then add a different colored polka dot to the stem. For the background, you may choose any color you would like. I chose white and I'm drawing nice solid lines that cross in the background. These lines make new little fun shapes. Because I am using white, I have to keep picking the paper up and looking at an angle to try to see where my lines are. I don't want to draw too many lines that they get thick and sloppy, but I want to have enough lines that I have small little shapes. Now that my pattern is done on my pumpkin and on the background, I am ready to paint. I'm going to choose a color that will contrast with the colors I've already used. I will paint a watercolor resist right over top of my drawing. When painting watercolors over top of crayon, the wax and the crayon resist the watercolors. If your watercolors create a puddle on your crayon, make sure to take a paper towel and just blot the extra paint off. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and had fun creating your own Yoyoi Kusama pumpkin.